we are now being joined by Brian Moore. Brian, first fight of 2021. Um, so just kind of a relief to be here. Finally, you know, in the week you're going to be competing again. Yeah, with everything that's been going on, going on in the world, it's it's great to be here you know, on fight week, ready and raring to go. But uh, this is my second trip back to the States. And even though I'm on a fight, uh, a win streak at the minute, I feel like there's redemption here for myself because the last time I came stateside, everything was going so smooth. Um, but I ended up breaking my two hands in that fight and ended up losing a, de a decision. It's one that I still think should have been a draw because um, I dropped the guy like four times. But uh, So I'm just so excited to be back to make amends here in the States. Yeah, I know nothing's, like you said, in, in the state of the world, nothing's guaranteed when you put your name on the dotted line. You had three opponents pull out since you've been stateside. I mean, is that, is that, a, crazy, is that a crazy camp to try to prepare for? Yeah, when you look up the stylistic um, approach of my uh, my scheduled opponent in, in Scoggins, it's very different than the man I'm fighting on Saturday. But I came here to fight. Um, this is not my first time fighting someone on short notice. But I will tell you that I've never been more prepared in my life. So you could put anybody in on Saturday night. You could take the champ and put him there on Saturday night, and I'm going to go through him. And that level of preparation, I mean, did you make changes? Was there tweaks? Like, what do you attribute having such a great camp to? Um, the preparation, the diligence, the determination that I that I came into this camp with, you know, I put it on a different level. My sparring partners were amazing, but I had to get a fresh man every round for this one. They could not keep up and, uh, with, with what, I, what I brought. Uh, that's no disrespect or anything that way, but I just feel like I've hit a different level. So like I said, it doesn't matter here on Saturday night. It's Brian Moore that's performing, and other than that, I don't really care. Hey, Brian, I was wondering, how does that long trip across the ocean affect your fight week routine? Because they tend to schedule you, obviously, in Europe. So what is it like being so far from home and doing everything that's involved for a fight? I don't mind it. I just try to take everything, you know, minute by minute. I kind of try to enjoy the process. You know, I've got a very busy and extremely lucky, grateful life, but I, it's 24-7, go, go, go. So it was nice to look at two movies on the flight on the way over, that kind of way. But um, the only thing that affected my uh, my uh, preparations I got here is as I landed in the in the hotel, I found out that my opponent had pulled out. So, you know, then I just start kind of trying to get a fight sorted. But once that was done, then I was sleeping nice and good food, and also we're all good. What movies did you watch on the flight? I watched uh, Talladega Nights, which I haven't seen in a long time. But it's a classic. It's so good. I forgot how good it was. And I actually watched a Tiger Woods documentary, too. I, I, I like my golf. There you go, Ricky Bobby. Um, <laughs> another question is uh, going to be the first time with a lot of fans in attendance mm. here in the United States. Just what are your thoughts on knowing you're going to have that crowd and the noise and the energy when you compete this Saturday? I cannot wait. I absolutely cannot wait. My last fight was... It was a beautiful knockout, uh, but it took me a little while to get going. The fans in attendance will have me coming out straight off the bat. I know that. I always get amped up with, with fights, uh, with, with fans in attendance. I started this sport at 21 years of age, so I was a fan first. So it's important for me that fans love my fights, and they do. You know, um, so I always get cheered on my way in, but I always get double that noise on the way out. Finally, uh, you have Jordan Winsky now. From what you've seen in the short time, just what are your thoughts on his game and what he brings as an opponent? Jordan is well-rounded. He comes in with a good record, has beaten good guys. Um, I shook his hand earlier on. I said, you have my respect for stepping in on short notes. It's not for everybody. I've done it plenty of times myself. But I said, we're going to go at it on Saturday night nonetheless. But I respect the man. I think he's a good skill set, and I'm excited to put my skill set against his going to change the subject a little bit here. Um, I've been asking all the fighters about the um, big sports news right now is about Simone Biles withdrawing from the Olympics due to mental health issues. I'm curious if you know about that and if you've ever experienced that or what you think as a professional athlete um, withdrawing from competition, especially something as big as the Olympics due to mental health issues. Yeah, it's, a, it's an absolute... Uh it's a shame, but it's, a, it's also a pandemic in itself, mental health issues, you know what I mean? And I think it's, it's something that should be looked at a lot closer, uh, not just in sports, but in, in every sector. But um, yeah, w as competitors, we, we, I suppose we can try and um, put on a brave face, but often it's not the truth, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I think everybody, to a certain extent, will struggle, you know, and I suppose just by opening up and being honest it will, will help a long way. Thank you. 
Ryan, you mentioned earlier breaking both of your hands. How does that affect your approach and your focus coming into this fight? My boxing has become so much neater, as you'll see, as you've noticed. I'm far more accurate, but I've got more power than all these guys. But the reason being is when you're casted up for for four months at a time, and then uh, I was cast up again after re-breaking him, you know, you, uh, you put a lot of attention into the accuracy of your shots, and that's why I'm dropping these guys so often. Um, while before, I was soaring, and, you know what I mean? But now it's uh, a lot more accurate, and, you know, the preparation that I put in is always so focused. And, um, you know, I just wanted, I wanted to make sure that never happens again. Um, so I became as neat and as efficient a striker as I possibly could be. All right. Thanks for the time, Brian. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you.